Today I'm going to show you a vehicle insurance and registration script created by this person. It has some pretty cool features with both NPC and player owned vehicles having VIN numbers and a document item that can be used to display all the necessary information for you in your vehicle with an added animation for realism. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Before we get started, I will mention Onxlip is a dependency, so make sure you have that installed. Then hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your resources. Then drag over what you downloaded and remove the main from the end. Then go to your server CFG and ensure the resource. Then hit File and Save. Then go back to your resources and find the resource. Go into the Install folder and into Inventory Images. Then copy these and go to whatever inventory you use. I'll be using QB Inventory. So we'll go there into HTML Images and then paste what you copied. Then go back to the resource into the install folder again and open the QB core shared items. Copy these. Go back to your resources and into the QB folder. Then into QB core, shared, and items. Then scroll down and paste what you copied, then hit file and save. Next, you need to run the provided SQL file. If you don't know how to do that, I left a link in the description to a video that explains how to do it within phpMyAdmin and Heidi SQL. After you've done that, we'll move on to some of the options in the config. So go back to the resource, into the config folder, and open the config. The first thing to change is the framework is set to ESX, so change it to Cubicore. Then there's the inventory and target options. The supported ones are commented out. I'm using QB inventory and QB target. Change these to whatever you're using. Then there's the notify option. Oxlib is used by default. Below that are the locations to get the registration and insurance. Change them if you want using vector three chords. Then there's the cost for registration and insurance. With insurance, there's an option to choose how many months you want the vehicle to be insured. Players will be billed the total cost initially. That's followed by how long the registration lasts. It's 30 days by default. Then the last section in here is for the blips. You can enable or disable them and change how they look and what they're labeled as. The commented out link takes you to the site for the blips and their colors. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. So I'm back in the server now and I just purchased this vehicle. So we'll go to the registration place over here. Then once you're in here, click the vehicle. It's by the plate, so it's going to be this one. Then you should get a vehicle registration document. You can open it, and it'll show you all the information. Then we'll go back in and go to the insurance place. Use the vehicle again, and then you can choose how long you want it to be insured for. So it took 6,000, and then you get another document for the insurance. And 
And then the last thing I'll show is if you go to the vehicle, you can look at the VIN number. And that's about it. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.